Hi, I'm Sonia and Joe to bring first this is the collective reading. Terror reading Dark Triangle Force of Grand Fit might belong to a different king or queen and neither that queen can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So I don't take it with resonates and leave the rest of someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. This is a collective reading for Leo. Hopefully you had a good week, Leo. And let's get straight into it and see what's happening for you. It looks like you've had some difficult times here. Looks like your light has been wavering. Possibly because you've had some anxiety and sleepless nights. You can't really seem to rest. You're kind of really worried about stuff here. Oh, you're going for the 9 to the 10. This is actually being stabbed in the back multiple times. This is a painful ending. It looks like you're going from anxiety and sleepless nights to some sort of stabbed in the back and ending. You can't come back from this kind of ending. It looks like there could be a lot of gossip or there's some sort of, you know, someone likes to party. Somebody's kind of like, there could be some sort of, um, you know, a lot of talk about this or maybe you're, this is someone who's like a party animal you're dealing with. Maybe you're just wanting to have call it quits and just go and have some fun. Let your hair down and go and celebrate with the girls or the boys. What's crossing this is that you're actually stuck in a situation. Take off that blindfold and smell the roses. It looks like you're staying stuck in a situation and you're not really wanting to move forward. You're not really collecting $200. You're not moving forward. You're staying stuck. But you're actually putting the work in. You're working very hard. You're actually starting to build a foundation. This is actually that you're really um, planting the seed. Planting the seed and actually becoming more financially stable. You're definitely more financially stable because we have some sort of... This is single energy where you're actually doing very well. You're actually taming the beast like you're taming the bird in your hand. So you planted the seed here. This is like the base work, and now actually it's starting to pay off. So you're actually working very hard. You know, that bird on your hand, you've tamed. So you're actually doing very well for yourself, your independent energy. So even though you're stuck in a situation, you actually find it actually stable when you're good on your own. Distant past, you've had some crying over spilt milk. It looks like you're being focused on the disappointment. These cups that were spilt, it looks like this person that loved to party here. This person that loved to party. Somebody was crying over spilt milk. This could be you, which you focus on the lack of the time. And it looks like you're watching now. You're watching somebody. Maybe you're feeling sad about someone from the past. But you're watching. You've been watching something that, you know, maybe you're watching something and it's made you a bit upset. Someone's, maybe you're thinking about some sort of stability, some sort of past situation where you were quite happy. This is a happy home, happy family, <clears throat> stability. So now thinking about it, you're feeling quite sad. You know, you're crying over spilt milk. You're watching something, though. This is somebody's watching. This is also Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody's watching their happily ever after. Or somebody's crying over the, thinking about that past. You know, I don't know. There's someone watching, anyway. Somebody. It's like... Some younger energy. Uh, recent past, we have the Wounded Warrior. So you're feeling quite wounded from a situation. This is some sort of shake-up. Spirit brings down the tower because something's built on faulty foundation. We have some kind of stalemate. Stalemate. You could be dealing with someone with narcissistic kind of behaviours. It's sabotaging. Sabotage, possibly because of wounding. And also, it could be a long-term commitment. Somebody sabotaged a long, long-term commitment. Could be that this is some sort of contract. Maybe it's some sort of painful ending. Looks like it could be some sort of wounding that's given a big shake-up. Spirit brings down the tower. Could have been Taurus energy. But anyway, you're thinking about some sort of feminine energy. Someone who could be quite stable. This could be male or female, but this is someone that's really quite dependable and good with their money, you know, really could be a business owner or a boss energy. But this is happiness and joy. This is your card, Leo. This is actually, you're thinking about somebody, you're bringing you a lot of joy, but also there's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody who could be, could be a little bit cold. 
someone who's cutting with their words, someone who just has strong boundaries and cuts out whatever is not serving. So there's two people here. But it looks like that this is somebody, you know, they could be a male or female as well, this person who's quite cutting. But this is also judgment. Someone feels like there's judgment that's been called. Somebody's called judgment. Thinking about calling judgment on a situation. So spirit, you know, um, possibly called judgment on some situation. And now this person is blocked out of energy. Looks like somebody is feeling judged. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Pisces, Kansas. No. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And Leo. So the, just, uh, the future is your ship's coming in here. You can see the ship's coming in here. And that actually things are starting to manifest. You're manifesting something. Oh, double confirmation. Two people possibly manifesting something here. There's two people. Double confirmation. There's manifesting some kind of, some secrets coming out. It looks like there's two people that are manifesting and it's like something that's hidden. Something is hidden in be between illusions. It's like you're needing to wake up from the illusion and you're starting to manifest. Two people are manifesting each other, it looks like. But your fears are, you're fearing that someone's quite defensive. Maybe you're feeling defensive and you're fearing that you're not going to be strong enough. You're dealing with someone who's a liar, cheater, stealer. This is some sort of deception and sneaking around. This is a toxic energy. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Looks like we have a Capricorn energy. This is somebody who's a little bit um, sneaky. So you're quite defensive now. You're fearing, you know, maybe you need to be defensive because there's a toxic energy. This could be codependency or, you know, uh, bad habits that you keep on repeating. Things you keep doing over and over. And liar to the stealer. Other people see you as very financially stable. You're getting very stable, it looks like. This is also, oh, it's a new job. This is a beautiful new job, and you're actually doing very well for yourself. It's a new pathway that you've gone down, and it's also balancing of the scales. So this is, looks like you've gotten some sort of rewards here, some sort of rewards for your hard work. Possibly that you're actually, maybe it was a court situation, or it was like, um, something where you actually got some sort of justice. But it could be that you're dealing with a younger energy who could be Pisces Cancer. Could be Pisces and Cancer, but it also could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or Libra. So that's interesting. So your hopes are, you're hoping to become more balanced. This is Sagittarius energy. You're really becoming more balanced. You're pouring it from one cup to the other and getting a good flow going. And this is actually bringing in your wish fulfillment. So you really need to get balanced so you can get your wish fulfillment, all your wishes coming true. So be careful what you're thinking as well, because um, it's manifesting. There's somebody that would like to take a leap of faith. You're taking a leap of faith and towards some sort of new beginning. This is also that you're getting wish fulfillment, but it's also balancing, balancing out. So the outcome here is the moon. Something is hidden. This is illusions. Maybe that you're actually seeing the truth. This is in the future here as well. So you're starting to see the truth of things. The truth is coming out here. This is a love-hate situation. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces energy. But it looks like that it could be that you've got some choices in love here. Could be a soulmate. That could be Pisces energy, even, and Gemini. But you're actually still a wounded warrior, so you still need to do some healing. Healing from some sort of situation. After this love situation, there's been a missed opportunity. This is a beautiful gift that's been given. Spirit hands this gift, and sometimes we're not ready to receive it, so we miss out on a beautiful opportunity. But it looks like it's a positive news cycle. It's like happily ever after. Look at that. So we have happily ever after, and, you know, this is a new cycle. You could be going travelling, it could be someone from overseas, but this is also a new lover, soulmate connection. So very cool, very happy for you, Leo. Bye!